pretty well together as far as blending. Watch a little love island, excuse me. Okay, this is what I'm working on this afternoon. Yeah, it's a lot. Hey guys, so I have a cruise in less than 30 days and I just got this in my Amazon package and it is a makeup travel kit. Um, it is Norway and it looks like they have a lot of different options. Um, the reason I like this one is it zips, it seemed um, I liked it flat and tall and then also it had this great pocket and place for brushes. Also. This is customizable, um, so you could take it all out, really, if you wanted to. Um, but I, I just really wanted something to say to put my makeup in, and also that I could open up on the counter and kind of leave it there and maybe not chunk up the counter. So we'll see how we do on that. Um, so I was just going to go on everything I'm taking and see if everything fits in. Um, I'm kind of cutting my head off here so y'all can see everything. I'm going to hold everything up as I do it as well. Um, so let's do palettes first. Um, I have, I need to clean everything. Um, this brown and it's like a rose gold. It's good for just basic browns, but I imagine I won't be so basic on this trip. I use this palette a lot. Yeah, I use the browns and the pinks a lot. And also that white in the corner. It's just a really good palette as well. This is Beauty Concept, and I got it for $5.50 on clearance because the hinge is slightly dented. Um, so this one I tried to right, yep, nice and flat in there. Um, this one's smaller, so if you can go in this pouch. This next one that I have is from Cara Beauty. This is Cara, Cara Duo. Tangy Tangerine. I'm going to be wearing a lot of pinks and oranges. This is pretty well pigmented. I really like this. So I'm going to take this as well. And this is a small palette, so hopefully it can fit right up there. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to put this in. I'm afraid if I fit too much, it's going to bulge, especially with no brushes in there. This is the last palette I'm taking, and this is After Beauty. That's all my pinks, blues, and turquoise. This one's highly pigmented too. And I don't pay much when I get a palette, so I'm sure it was less than $10 at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna pop that one right in the bottom here. It's a little given away in the back. I almost wish there was something more supportive inside structurally, um, but I'm sure that was so they could send it flat. Next thing I'm going to be taking, this is my body, what do they call it? <clears throat> Sunkissed Body Highlighter. Um, so it's kind of like a knockoff on the nice sprays. I don't really care for it in the sense that um, the glitter on it is really large. And like when I put it on, it gets stuck to my hands really well. Um, but it does the job. I just have to like scrub my hands after I use it. Um, but I do like it. It was, the price point was right. Hopefully took that right in here. That's going to work. So next up I have um, a lot of stuff from Shein, just the price points are right. Um, I'm very specific about what I purchase, and if I have purchased something that doesn't fit, I find someone who it does fit, and I give it to them. Uh, this is She Lam, this is Birthday Skin Primer Pigment Protector. I really like this one, it's your full face. Um, it seems to almost dry into like a really fine powder. Um, anyways, I've, been, I've only used it a handful of times, but I'm really liking this. So I'm going to hopefully fit this right in this little corner. Speaking of powder, this is my translucent Bake Glow Setting Powder from Chew Glam. I'm going to fit that right on top. <laughs> Let's see here. This is my blank slate see it's still the eyeshadow transfer. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take this yet, so, because it is rather big. Um, next is my concealer. So this is Glossier Stretch Concealer. 
I love this. This is in G11. I honestly could probably go a shade darker, but I really, um, it's really creamy. And when they say it stretches, it, it really does. It's amazing. Um, so as I've hit over 30, I can definitely tell that I've lost fullness in my skin. Um, and it's just a little creepier. That's the only way to describe it. I know I'm not there yet, but you can just feel how it wants to move more. Um, but this seems to move with it. Every once in a while, I will have to like run through my little crease under my eyes and make sure it doesn't build up. But one and done. Um, I really do like that concealer. I'm going to tuck that right in the corner. Next, I do have a concealer stick, just an NYX Wonder Pencil. Um, for my breakouts, so I'm going to stick that up here in the brush area. I also have this She Glam Soft Tan. It's a contour stick. It's a really light brown. almost has a grayish tint, which actually kind of helps suit my skin. And then it has a nice blending brush on the end. All in one kit. So that I'm going to tuck right up here up front. I also have this blush, She Glam, and it's Hush Hush. Um, I feel like there wasn't much in the bottle, but I also feel like the sponge applicator soaked up a lot of the product. I feel like there's still so much in here, even though there's only like this much down in here. Um, and I really like the cream base formula. The price is right. I'm sure I got it on sale. And it seems to work really well. Um, so for my foundations, I use Ulta Demi Matte Pro. This is broad spectrum, which is extra, but I will be caking on the sunscreen. Um, I really feel like I'll only do full face at night for dinner. Um, and I cannot remember what color this is. I'm usually in the lights, light medium. Yeah, but it's definitely rubbed off. Um, and then I also have this Infallible Matte Pro in Nude Buff. And I really like the formula on this one as well. Although, um, and that mats me out and I really have to contour and blush after this. My highlighter is just this cheap gold highlighter I got for like a dollar somewhere. Um, it's cream based and it's gold based. I probably deserve a new one, but this one works. <laughs> so, let's see, what's the next eyebrows? using these so I do have Maybelline Tattoo Studio um, I don't it keeps leaking and that's the only thing I don't like it's in light blonde um, so that's the only thing I have to say that I, I don't like about it um, I have to go through my eyebrows very lightly and then I will use the spoolie on this to cross them after they, um, they dry I also use this point this is what I got from she glam she Glam Dual in Find Eyebrow Pencil, and I'm sure it's in a taupe. It's got a nice angled end to it. Um, and I have been using the actual pencil part on this more because my Milk Makeup Kush Triple Brow Pen is running out. Um, this has a nice, like, I get to filter to show you. This has a nice three. And it, but it just smushes together and it doesn't actually create highlight hair like textures um, but if I like just spool it it has a nice blonde tinge to it um, this is my she lamb I've been using this one a lot liquid eyebrow pencil it has a really great threaded end to it to create little hairs it works really well little dark for me. Luckily it's a trend. <laughs> so eyeliner. I really don't wear much eyeliner, but when I do I take um, this Modern Love that I got from She Glam. And it's got eyeliner on one and then it has a heart tattoo stamp that I will sometimes put right here when I'm feeling sassy. Um, so I'll probably do that on formal night. So everything's fitting really nice. I want to fit this giant powder brush up here and see if it's going to fit. 
so yeah, it's gonna flatten it out a little bit, but it's it's gonna fit. Okay, I'm really ha I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, other brushes that I need. Um, this is my travel. It has all my eye brushes in there that I need, so I can just toss this right in my kit. I'm finding that all these compartments are a little much, but I'm finding that I also have extra room. So I do wear um, L'Oreal Telescopic and Waterproof. I'm really enjoying this mascara. I like the silicone brush head on it. I feel like I can really get in there and individually here. I have eyelashes, they're just blonde. Um, I'm gonna slip that up here with brushes as well. Um, the only brushes I'm thinking I really want is this that I use to sweep away extra makeup that I've picked up. Um, Sometimes I'll use this to blend out my concealer if I feel like it's not blending enough. But these other ones are more just extras, so I really don't feel like I'm going to have to take those. Lips. liquid matte vivid and it's just got more of a neutral tone to it so I'm going to take that this is a sheer lip gloss just a little color I'm going to take that so I really like these NYX lip tees but this lighter pink one every time I put it on I feel like I look like Malibu Barbie and I just can't handle this brighter pink so I'm not taking it so I won't even fight it I won't even fight it and then the last one I have is this She Glam. Um, it's because it's the only <laughs> lip liner that I have. And this is in Shelf Chai. Um, and it's just a nice neutral mauve. So, I'm really actually very pleased and surprised. Um, I was going to pack my lash stuff. I probably still will pack my lash stuff um, in my... I take this out and move like this would all this would fit in this corner here and I can put my lash stuff in here as well because I was worried about my lashes getting messed up wonderful how exciting let me grab a mug ah running stuff look at me no wonder the cats knock them over all the time Kiss Falscara. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the package. Um, these actually fit under your lash line, and they are so comfortable. If I wasn't such a bad eye rubber, I could probably wear these for days. But I am a really bad eye rubber, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stick these right on in here. I like the little boxes that they come into. They just feel safe and protected. Done. Um, my lash glue. So this is the Foscara lash glue. It comes on like a little mascara wand. The only problem with it is that it gets all over my lash, whereas I just want it on the line. That way I'm trying to save my natural lashes as much as possible. So I do have this clear super stronghold lash contour and I'm bringing that as well. And then I have actually <laughs> have several bond and seals. So I'm actually going to put them all in here just in case. I don't know which one's dry. I'll toss them out on there. And then I have several eyeshadow or eyelash tweezers. And you get it on there and clamp them down. Let me tell you. Best thing you can do. So I'm really excited, guys. I didn't even need this extra area. In fact, I'll just keep it in there. So I'm really pleased actually. This was 
is a really good, I think it was $11.99, $12.99. I'm gonna link it, I'm gonna show a picture. I highly suggest I'm sure they have other colors. I like this constellation, but I'm really pleased. Um, for someone who travels all the time, this would be ideal. I understand that um, for even maybe all their cosmetic or all their toiletries, um, for someone who's a minimalist. Um, but this I'm going a little overboard because we're going to be having formal nights and doing extra things. So I'm actually really excited. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.